Daniel. I am from Austin, Texas, and today I want to tell a story about God's faithfulness, specifically his faithfulness and what he calls us to do. I joined BSD while I was in England last year, working with a missionary organization called PAYS. It primarily does our work through schools. I came back to the U.S. after my time in England, and now I'm working with the same organization out of Dallas, Texas. To start the year off, I was quite skeptical and a little bit interested to see what it was God was going to do, because, as I said, we primarily do our work through schools, and there's kind of a pandemic and all the schools are closed, so wasn't sure how that was going to look. I get to my placement church, or partner uh, church, and we speak with the schools in the area, kind of decide what it is we're going to do, and so we decided upon what we're calling that virtual cafes, which is basically it's a place where students that are online and struggling with online schooling can come and we can help them with their school, they can hang out, we have free Wi-Fi and snacks and all that good stuff. Fast forward to one and a month, one and a half, two months, and uh, we've had six students across the two locations that we're working with, five in one, one in the other. none returning and we feel a little bit discouraged, uh, a bit confused as to what exactly we're kind of doing. Uh, we have a meeting about two weeks ago with the national directors of the U.S. Uh, PACE branch and they said, you know what, we're going to pray about this right now. And so we did pray about, you know, getting more students possibly, you know, seeing what it was God wants us to do and actually you know, having an opportunity to do it. Um, either the very next day or that day, we had uh, a new student who became our first returning student who is now trying to get her younger brother to come and uh, hang out to his schoolwork and talking about trying to come to the youth group that we hold on Wednesday nights after the virtual cafe. At the other location, um, where we only had one student, it was earlier in the morning, um, it was a bit of a drive as well, so that was especially difficult because we're having to wake up early and drive further, and we had even less students. Um, the school counselor from the school we were working with from that location uh, came to me shortly after we prayed about it, and she said, you guys have any students? And I said, no, just that one. We haven't seen any since. She goes, you know what? This is silly. I'm going to talk to the school and I'm going to see if I can get you in actually on location in the school. And I was like, oh, that would be amazing. Uh, I kid you not, two days later, we are in the library working with kids that have what they call seat time, which is basically where they don't have any schoolwork to do. They're, they just need to be at school because they've missed a certain number of hours. Um, and we basically just get to hang out with them and kind of do our best to be a good example of God's love. Uh, what I wanted to say with this story is wherever God has put you, he puts you there for a reason. Just keep praying, keep persevering, and be patient. He'll work things out and probably not the way you expect. So, wherever you're watching this from, be blessed, and I hope whatever it is you're waiting on God for ends up being more spectacular than you could possibly imagine. Later. <laughs>